Hello guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're going through the Season 7 meta of uh, Battlegrounds. I haven't played any of this yet. Obviously this came out on Wednesday so this video is a little delayed. Um, but as you guys know, Act 8.2 come out. We also uh, got given Zone 4 and the codes and rewards for uh, the Sinister Vault. So a lot has happened. So I'm trying to get these videos out as quick as possible. But hopefully this one um, should be out today. Today I believe is uh, Saturday. So yeah, let's go through the meta. Good champions to use, and um, and then we'll see my first game of it. So we've got this meta is actually seems to me I haven't played any yet, but it sounds better than last meta. I wasn't a big fan of the sort of gaining power from uh, every time you st sort of stunned or any sort of debuff. So I quite like this. If the attacker hasn't landed a hit in six seconds, they take direct damage. Losing 100% of their total health over 30 seconds. Landing a hit removes the damage and resets the timer. There's also fight or flight, so every 12 seconds the defender gets unstoppable buff um, for 4 seconds. If you, the attacker is far away from the defender, the attacker instead gains the unstoppable. And then we finally got the attacker starts with their spirit gauge at 50%. So this means that you're, um, you're able to get your relic sooner. This can help for fighting people like Bishop or um, champs who sort of want to avoid their SP1. Uh, and push them to SP2 because obviously you can throw your relic and, and get them there sooner. It also helps if your relic is doing your big damage like it does for Overseer or um, or Valkyrie or, ch or champions like that. So there are quite a few good champs to use. On the defender side, I think um, the same defenders still apply. You want defenders who, um, because of fight or flight, are constantly aggressive Um However, it's not absolutely essential. You can really bring any of your classic defenders in, your Mephistos, your Annihilus's, uh, your Hulklings, your Dominoes. All of those champs will really uh, work really, really well. Um, Omega Red could be an okay... Um, no, no, actually, I've, I've got that mixed up. Omega Red probably wouldn't be very good because you want to stay far away. But, um, yeah, champs who, who stay sort of really close... To, so that they get those unstoppable would be good defenders, but again, isn't absolutely essential. The brute force one again is is something that's a bit strange. Um, this is probably champs with long um, special attacks. You go Gore's SP two. Um, you've also got Hulklin's SP one. We've got Apocalypse is obviously a a, 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 a a champ that you sort of we all know about and hear quite a lot of. So he's somebody else who who can be used, but. There's quite a few options there. It just depends who who you sort of want to use um, on the defensive side. However, when going to the attacking and um, sort of you're on the offense and you which champions you think you should use, I would highly recommend champs with unblockable, champs who are um, have a slow on just so you never have to think about that unstoppable and it just becomes a regular fight with brute force, or um, champions who... I don't take loads of degeneration, so um, reduced degeneration like Null uh, is, is really quite handy for this. You've got Shang-Chi is really quite good because of his, um, because he has the unblockable. Uh, Hyperion would be quite good for this because obviously you've got the power gain and the, um, and the fury buffs that you're constantly having to wait Um or you're able to throw those and stay quite close. All those special attacks keep you quite far away from him. So that is, again, uh, really quite effective. There is a quite a few champs who work for this one. But um, why don't we jump into my first game of this, see how I feel about the nodes, and then uh, wrap this video up. So hopefully we find a game. Um, we do straight away. Perfect. As you can see, you know, um, I've... Uh, I think I've played one of these, but I, I quit out because I didn't have enough time. So I actually haven't played a, a full match of this yet. Hopefully it will go well uh, on video. Normally I go for a Domino Always Human Torch, but it doesn't seem to have one. Uh, Havoc can leave because... Actually, I'll keep Havoc in case I get Ultron. I'd probably say I want to get rid of Scorpion. And I'm going to go with Hulkling, I think. That seems quite a balanced sort of reduction. Here, I definitely need a Hulkbuster or a Warlock to deal with that um, To deal with that Havoc. So who are we going to take here? I think we're going to go with... Oh, there's the Ultron. 
Um, yeah, so let me know how you guys are finding this um, this battleground season down below in the comments. If you're new around here, do like and subscribe. We're really building up um, this base, so I massive, uh, massively appreciate that. I don't know if to take Herc or whether to take Quicksilver. I think I'm going to take Quicksilver because he's got that Rintra. Um, Ebony Mar. I think I'll take Ebony Mar as well. Yeah, definitely. A uh, good defender is Ebony Mar and allows you to sort of um, take some damage because of his degeneration. He normally does nullify a buff or two unless they've got no buff champ. And then you've also got hope that they miss. So it's quite a few ways that Ebony Mar can sort of do some damage to the attacker. Um, especially in this, if they're obviously staying far away from him because of his SP2 or his SP1, he would also get that unstoppable. Um, Mephisto is obviously a great champ for that um, sunspot. And um, maybe Hulkbuster might be another option for that Havoc. But I think I'm going to go with Hercules now. So I've got two good defenders there, Ebony Mar and Mephisto. I could probably put Quicksilver as a defender or um, use Quicksilver. There's... So who do I want to go here? Do you reckon I want to go Archangel or Annihilus? I think I'm going to go with Archangel and just hope that um, either Kitty Pride or Quicksilver are able to be put on the defensive side and win me it. Or I win before it even gets the three defenders. So there's quite a few, um, quite a few ifs on here, but, you know, feeling confident. So let's put... Let's put Mephisto down and hope hope that he chucks down. I don't even know. Quicksilver maybe would be nice for him to chuck down. Spider Ham's obviously great for me. If he fights him, yep, yeah, that's perfect. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go with obviously Ultron. And um Hopefully this first round is mine. Yeah, so I'm quite looking forward to this season. A lot has happened so far, so I haven't actually been able, as I've you know I've said multiple times, I've not been able to get in. But I think um, once I've sort of got all of 8.2, hopefully I can fully complete that um, relatively quick and we can sort of not have to worry about, worry about that any longer. And this sort of just becomes a... Um, this becomes a mainstay for the channel. That would be good. Uh, I do really enjoy playing Battlegrounds. I think it's quite good. I, I haven't been a fan of the recent metas, but uh, that tends to normally be the... Uh, like, it only tends to be the last sort of two metas. I've enjoyed quite all of the other ones. It's just... Um, yeah, like I said, this meta seems good. But the last few metas have been a bit dodgy. Uh, I don't know if you guys have maybe not enjoyed those or if that's just a more um, more personal for me. I think they um, they sort of miss the mark on, on what a fun sort of meta can be. Um, which, I mean, they're not going to get everyone right, of course. You can't expect that um, from Kabam every single time. But it would be nice if... Because um, I think the last meta was, I wasn't a fan of. Um, to excuse the dog, if you can hear it barking, it's... Um, it's probably excited as somebody I imagine has just just got back. But yeah, um, well the dogs put me off and I've lost. Um, I mean, I probably wouldn't have won anyway. It seems that he did quite a lot of damage there, but yeah, never mind. Um, sort of thinking about the dog barking and disrupting this video has sort of caused me to die there. But never mind. Let's um. Let's jump into the second round here. I'm a little bit... I wonder if I'm going to lose this one now. Because of um, the first round loss. I haven't actually got another defender. Um, I guess Kitty Pride's going to have to be my final defender. Which is uh, not ideal. His Sunspot is probably going to shred through my Ebony Mar now. So I'm probably going to have to get the slow up on Rincher as soon as possible. And then, um, and then try and take him out with a Whiplash. So I think, as you guys can tell, I'm not um, the best live player on the planet. Um, it's all pretty still relatively new to me. So um, I try my best, obviously. But obviously, if I um, am going a bit quiet occasionally, then I do apologise for that. Like I said, it's um, 
all quite different currently. But yeah, um, I'm normally not too bad at fighting Rintra. I feel like Rintra has so many things in his arsenal that make him really hard. You've got um, you've got his unstoppable, his occasional unblockables, his um, his ruptures really build up, especially with Quicksilver. Like Quicksilver seems like he should be a good counter, but then you go and fight him, and um, because of how many hits, obviously um, Quicksilver does in one. Like there, I've managed to gain three ruptures just from just from hitting hit, hitting him a, th a few times. Um, hopefully. I can finish this off. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have the, the victory here. I've taken quite a lot of health from his ruptures, but I've managed to get Rintra down. Ebony Ma is a good defender. Christ, he smashed him there in 33 seconds. Don't know what happened to that guy's sunspot, but I saw, okay, it's one all. There's still a big chance of doing it. I've um, I've got Kitty Pride to put down here, so I think I'm going to do that. Um, and I'll obviously play my Archangel, no matter who he puts down. Quicksilver's probably best for me, really, because if it was me, I'd have put Nick Fury down. Um, make the, make me take longer, and then I, you know, you would have beaten him in time with Gallon anyway, so as long as you can keep some sort of health, it wouldn't be too bad. But, and with Archangel, there's still that chance that I could absolutely shred his Quicksilver really quickly. But, um... Hopefully, fingers crossed, I can do that. Uh, the, the thing with Quicksilver is that's good is that he obviously hitting into your block. He does like three hits in one, so really, if you don't like, he's gonna get that poison on him a bit. It's a bit more likely he'll get his poison on him. I do need to remember that. There it is. I was gonna say I need to remember that stun, that annoying stun that he gets, um, or where he evades his first stun. Luckily, that's on cooldown now, so I can sort of do as much damage as I can. I'm seeing that oh, I've got the unstoppable on me, which is now good. Um, that's not ideal, the uh, the degeneration from brute force, but if I can just keep... So that's good. The um, neurotoxins are obviously stopping his... Um... Well, I got lucky there. His unstoppable, I guess. So that will give me some... Some... Uh... Some poisons. Here we go. Let's finish him here with a big heavy... I could have done with more than one, especially with this SP2 doing some damage into my block. Oh, I thought I was going to dex that. But yes. Okay, so that's not too bad. I've beat him. That's a result. I didn't think I was going to get him. I thought his Gallon was going to take Kitty Pride up too quick, but it seems like Kitty Pride's actually taking him down completely. That does it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this helped you out. That's my first Battlegrounds gameplay. Uh, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.